Hello and welcome to this Profit Protector Pro YouTube video. So today I'm going to be talking to you about the repricing overview section of the dashboard and what it can mean for you from the point when you look at it. Now, unfortunately, before we carry on with the video, uh, I'm not able to show you this in its full glory simply because I have a demonstration account for Profit Protector Pro uh, with dummy information. So not all of this will uh, will populate. So for example, with figures up here um, and the chart that should appear here would only appear if I have numbers here. Um, so unfortunately, I'm not able to show this in its full glory, but I'm going to explain it and you can follow along on your Profit Protector Pro to see what it is that I'm talking about exactly. So... What you're looking at here is basically the same information just shown in different ways because as people, as Amazon sellers, we all like to work in different ways. Um, so there is a variety of options here um, for you for how you see the uh, repricing overview of the dashboard. So as you know, the dashboard is an overview of your account, everything that's going on in terms of sales, repricing um, and your Profit Protect Pro boost. So in terms of the repricing alone, you've got three sections. So these boxes at the top, what would be a circled chart, um, which you can see on your Profit Protector Pro if you're following along with me, and you have a line chart here. So the same information just shown in different ways. So at the top, you'll very simply be able to gauge which of your items need a min uh, and a max entering in, how many are at the buy box price, how many are at the lowest price on the listing, how many are at your minimum price and how many are at your maximum price. So for anyone that is confused about the at buy box and then the in buy box filter, which is over on the repricing page, there is a difference. So at buy box means um, items that are simply matching the same buy box price on that listing. They might not, not, they might not have necessarily won the buy box, um, but they are just matching the price. When you filter by in buy box over on the filters uh, on the repricing page, uh, that means items that have actually won the buy box. So they are matching the price, they've won the buy box. Um, and then for anyone that is confused about at lowest price and at minimum, there is a difference. So the lowest price is the lowest price on the listing. And the minimum are items that are at your minimum price parameter. So it could be that your minimum price is also at the lowest price on the listing if pricing has moved down that far um, but minimum doesn't necessarily mean it is the lowest price on the listing it is just items that are at your minimum set parameter and that could be above the lowest price on the listing so hopefully that makes sense you'll have the same information shown to you in circle chart form so it color codes it depending on what it is so green for green for need min max blue for at buy box yellow for at lowest price and so forth and when you um, hover over each of those colored sections on the circle chart that appears here it will give you a breakdown of how many products meet that specific uh, that specific criteria then you have the line chart here. So you can select the option at the side to see, um, to determine what it is that it shows you on the chart. Um, and basically this, the perk to seeing the line chart is basically you can see how the information has fluctuated over the last seven days. Um, so you can see, you know, how many of your items were at minimum, maybe at the start of the week and how that's changed over the course of the last seven days. Uh, the day that is furthest to the right is the most recent day. So the day that we're currently on. Um, so you can see how that information has changed. When you see something like uh, need min max, for example, this can be a call to action for you. So this is where the repricing overview is useful. Now, obviously items in Profit Protect Pro need a min and a max, as well as a strategy entering in, in order for you to be able to turn them on to actually reprice. So it's very important that your items do have the min and max parameters. So if you see a number in need min and max, what you can do is head on over to repricing Head onto the filters and then select this box here. So need min max, give that a tick, then apply filter and you'll see everything that meets that particular criteria. So my apologies again um, about my dashboard that I'm able to show you. Again, this is just a demonstration account with dummy information. So uh, not all of it will show exactly the same as what you'll see. What you'll see is um, Profit Protector Pro. So if you've been following along, you'll have seen that circle chart. Um, and hopefully that would have made a lot more sense um, as it will be working with actual information on your account. Hopefully this information was useful. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you next time.